Hi, Taurus. We're going to do your reading. Um, it is general, so just take whatever messages resonate. We're going to look into um, this person that you're connecting with, whether it's um, a crush, an ex, boyfriend, girlfriend, soulmate, what have you. Um, I'm just going to get right into it. We're going to see what spirit, what messages spirit wants to bring forth today. So, let's go ahead, let's get some cards. Let's tap into this person's um, thoughts and feelings regarding you and your connection that you share, whatever this connection may be. Okay. Oh, okay. So, Altaris. All right, so you have... Starting off, you have Ace of Cups. So I really love this. I really love this card. Now look at how full this cup is. I love this. So you guys, um, now this could be a love offer, Ace of Cups. This could be an offer that's coming to you. Um, if it's not a love offer, you guys could just be feeling very good, like very full, like your cup is full. Um, this kind of also, you know, feels like healing to me. So you could be feeling, you know, could be healing. Um, just things are good. Like you're feeling good. You could be feeling creative maybe. So we have some water energy here. And then we have air energy. Queen of Swords. Notice how her sword is down in this. So... Some of you could be connecting with an air sign or a water sign, could be any sign. I feel like this is more you for some reason. Like, I feel like this is you. I don't even feel like this is your person. Like, I feel like you have your sword down. You're not really saying anything. I feel like you're just kind of... Maybe this person is feeling like you're a little standoffish right now. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. But they, someone feels like you're being standoffish and you're not really communicating because your sword is down. Maybe you're not communicating for good reason. I just feel like, um... I don't know, Taurus. I feel like someone or like some energy wants to come in. And even though this is this is um, this is like a water energy, I feel like some energy or someone wants to come like warm you up. Cause like, look how serious she is. Look at her face. Look how serious, you know, the Queen of Swords is pretty serious. Like, I feel like someone wants to see you smile or someone wants to see you have fun. Four of Cups. Maybe this person, um... Four, and then another cup so that's five five of cups okay well someone's drinking here I don't know if this is you but look at how this guy's drinking on this card he looks a little drunk so someone's drinking um, yeah someone and look at how she's coming here with this cup it's almost like the ace of cups like again like this offers coming someone's coming to carry give something to you Maybe you tried to give an offer to someone in the past that maybe was too preoccupied with other people, other situations, and their own, you know, inner 
struggles that they were dealing with, their own inner demons. So maybe you tried to offer something to somebody, but they didn't really see it, they didn't want it, they were too preoccupied with other things going on here. And maybe it's caused you to feel kind of um, like like Ice Queen is what I'm hearing. Like, just like you've kind of um, not really letting yourself feel. Stoic. I don't know why I'm hearing the word stoic. But I feel like, um, <clears throat> you know, or these energies could be, you know, reversed. So just take it how it resonates. You know, maybe someone was coming to you with an offer before, but you were preoccupied to really give any energy to that offer. But I feel like someone here is not speaking, but there could be healing coming or maybe like a new opportunity. Because all the aces to me signify like a new um, opportunity or like a new, a new energy coming in. So this fell kind of weird. I don't know if this wanted to fall out reversed or not. It kind of fell out like sideways. I don't know. Um, maybe someone's having a hard time coming to a decision. There could be a choice that this person has to make or that you have to make. Let's see what other information we can, we can get. I'm going to use a different deck. So let's see. You have um, Ten of Swords, Death or Ending of Situation or Relationship. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, wow, you have two kings. So, you have um, <clears throat> King of Pentacles. Man over 25 years, dark eyes, dark hair, business, arrogance, powerful. And then you have King of Swords. Man over 25 years, brown eyes and brown hair, cold, abrasive, demands respect. You have a uh, eight of swords, frustration, feeling bound and gagged. Well, this is like kind of heavy energy. Ten of wands, weighed down with problems, very heavy load. Eight of cups, money problems, turning your back and walking away, knowing nothing more can be done. And the hierophant, marriage, government, or public company body, corporate, official building, or official situation. So, <clears throat> you, um, I feel like this is more of, you gave an offer to somebody who was too preoccupied, who was too preoccupied to really pay attention to what you were offering. Okay. So, I feel like you were in this energy or someone was in an energy. So someone gave someone an offer here. Someone didn't accept it. They couldn't. They just weren't 
really in the frame of mind or the emotional space to accept this offer. Um, so someone had a hard time making a decision leaving, but someone walked away from this situation. You could have walked away from this person, Taurus, because you were always feeling burdened, heavy, weighed down, always trapped in your mind. Um, so you could have walked away and you could have had a lot of spiritual growth since then. Some of you, this very uh, literally could have been a marriage. Maybe you uh, divorced somebody for a small few of you. Um... But you've definitely um, leveled up spiritually, or this um, this connection taught you a lot spiritually and helped you grow in that aspect. Could um, maybe it helped you um, emotionally in some aspect? Yeah, but this whoever this person is, um, you guys are not together at this point. Um, maybe this person also felt this way. They felt very, um, you know weighed down by the connection at some point. Maybe they were also trapped in their head or feeling like there was nothing more that could be done. This person could have had strong uh, air or uh, earth placements in their chart. Or they're just showing up as, as this uh, pentacles and, and, uh, and king of swords. Yeah, but this person has uh, dark features. <clears throat> Whoever you're connecting with, you, you might also have dark features yourself. Maybe you have dark hair. Um, all right, wow, look at this. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Money restrictions, testing the water. So yeah, um, you guys, um, Taurus, like you, this person, so... Um, you guys are focused on getting balanced, so things are uh, will be balanced out eventually. Things will will become balanced. Um, I feel like whoever was in this Four of Cups energy, um, they will be working through this energy. They will be healing. They will be balancing their emotions, like the Wheel of Fortune. So things will eventually shift. In this connection, or things have already shifted and, and phased out. This person or this connection might have already phased out, and you have been getting very balanced. Um, you have been, you know, healing. Okay, and then the Knight of Swords was at the bottom of this deck. So maybe, yeah, maybe someone broke off from this connection quickly, or this connection ended very quickly, suddenly, abruptly. <clears throat> so, let's see what other messages we can get. Taurus. Wow, that's a lot of messages. I don't know if I should take these, but I guess I will. We have respond versus react. Express from a loving place, old trigger, trauma yields, drama, new beneficial thought patterns. Paradigm shift. New experience is integrating now. Materialization, growth, expansion, progression, cycles, change. So you've definitely been through a cycle with this person. Um, a lot of things have changed between you and this person. Um, but both of you are going through um, a new cycle now, I feel. Maybe um, whoever you were connecting with Maybe you or this person or the both of you were, were very uh, reactive. Maybe you guys were very quick to react to each other. 
We have igniting the exciting, finding your soul's purpose, talent, new chapter, path, life change, share your unique gifts. Yeah, so someone here I feel like since this connection ended I feel like you Taurus have been just on this brand new chapter in your life. You're in a brand new cycle. Things have really changed since um, since the ending of this connection. You also have gratitude. Gratuity increases attraction and opportunities. Little things count. Be grateful for all of your life. So the good and the bad. Um, and you also have its manifested. New desired reality is already present in your life. Vibrational alignment, astrology gives edge. Yeah, and a lot of you, um, I feel like a lot of you could be experiencing like a new talent or a gift or you're trying to perfect something here. Like ever since you, like this connection ended, I feel like um, you've just been... Um, you know, doing new things, exciting things, working on something that you're passionate about, exploring this new, um, exploring this new chapter in your life. You also have future you now at the bottom of the deck. You're already that person, deserving, you have arrived, bucket list, achieving your dream. So that's some good energy. Yeah, I feel like ever since you and this person parted ways, it's been nothing but like good things. If you've been just manifesting a lot of good things. And definitely like a lot of you could be feeling very grateful for how things turned out. Even if it was painful, I feel like a lot of you are grateful and a lot of you are grateful for this new beginning. You have, wow, lots of messages here Spirit has for you guys, Taurus. Um, so you have invest. See if they're the one. Spend time together. Make effort getting to know them. Emotional investment. Yeah, so again, some, someone here was very emotional. I feel like when it came to you and this person, one one person was more emotionally invested than the other. And I feel like over time, it became a really heavy burden for one of you. Um, some of you could be getting to know somebody new. If you haven't already, um, this person will eventually be cycled into your life. So, you know, just give it time. It will manifest, but some of you are manifesting a new, you know, connection. Some of you have definitely manifested this, this, uh, this new beginning here, this paradigm shift. You also have stoked, riding the wave of positive manifestation, excited, dream come true, great things happening. Damn, I love this. Okay. You have Mr. or Miss Fix-It. Don't try to fix others. Heal yourself to attract the best partner. People pleasing. Trust the process. And you have destructive habits. Addictions to gambling, alcohol, sex, negatively impacting relationships, toxic thinking, behavior. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, whoever you were connected with, I feel like... The both of you came together to learn some really hard lessons um i feel like uh the both of you are definitely more aware of your uh destructive habits of your addictions whatever sort of addiction it might be your your negative thinking pattern patterns like you guys you both are more aware of this now um you know some and one of you did have um you know this this, this need to, you know, feel like you feel like you have to, like, fix someone, like you have to help, you know, fix others. Um, but I feel like um, you're coming out of this. 
I don't know if this is you, Taurus, or if this person was trying to, you know, heal and fix you. Maybe it was, you know, both of you, you know, maybe nitpicking at each other, trying to, you know, fix the other person. It could have brought out a lot of destructive um, habits or, you know, could have really triggered each other. Especially if someone wasn't ready to um, maybe face what the other was, you know, partner was trying to fix in the other. So, yeah, um, it, I just feel like it created a very destructive environment within the connection within, within yourselves. So there could have been arguments, fighting. Eventually one person just stopped. Like, because one person has the sword down. King of Swords has has the sword up, so someone could have eventually just stopped arguing. Um, anyway. You're just, you know, again, like the card says, you're just being asked to trust the process. Um, you are investing in yourself now and this new chapter in your life. I'm feeling like you guys are, you know, feeling really good. You're just feeling very excited for this new uh, chapter here. Missed opportunity at the bottom of the deck. Regret from former relationship. Don't run if it feels right. Risk of loss. Communication is imperative. So someone could feel like this is a missed opportunity here. Maybe someone wants, you know, maybe someone's worked on their destructive habits. Maybe they worked on themselves. Maybe they want to come in best and fix things with you. But that might only be for a small few of you. I feel like um, the both of you are kind of just more focused on on this new cycle in your life. We have Glam It Up. Bring your A-game, hitting the town, make an effort, edgy venue, the finishing touches, stylish. So someone here is um, getting their hair done. Someone's getting their nails done. Someone's buying a new outfit. Someone's going out. Someone's really like putting themselves out there. I don't know. It could be you, Taurus. We have looking closely, observing, nitpicking, creeping, situation magnifying, things getting rectified, focus. So someone could be watching you very closely. Maybe someone's, I'm hearing like a glow up. Someone could be watching someone's glow up. You have on guard, competing for someone at an impasse. Guard it, needs space, takes time, skilled interaction. Is that how you say that, impasse? Anyway, we have another card here. Playing the field, still meeting, dating other people, seeing each other, being a player, games being played. So, yeah. Some of you could have been dealing with a player. You could have walked away. You're enjoying your new cycle, your new beginning, but they could still be creeping. And I feel like you are definitely more on guard when it comes to your interactions with people or um, especially with this person. We have the unsaid at the bottom of the deck. Showing I love you or like like you without physically saying it didn't say it yet. So maybe there's still unsaid things um, between you and this person here. But some of you might not even care about that. Like some of you are just, you don't even like want to like go back to the past. You just want to keep progressing. Like a lot of you just want to keep progressing. You're just very, again, like you're just very grateful for um, for this new beginning. Some of you could be grateful that um, that even though it was um, like a very tough or like a very toxic connection, you're grateful for how things played out. And now you're just ready to um, manifest better and just have an exciting new beginning in your life. But some of you are definitely doing something to your appearance. You're doing something different with your appearance. Maybe a new hairstyle. 
We have a lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. And you have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Wow. And we were talking about the addictions on one of the, I think it was, right? Weren't we? Anyway. Yeah, we were right here with the destructive habits. Yeah, so you're you're definitely enjoying your new beginning. You're grateful for it, um, but you're still healing. So some of you are overcoming addictions. You're healing um, maybe the way how you speak to yourself negatively. You're healing your heart. You're 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 just healing from a lot. Um, and you're going through like, there's, there's also a lot of change and upheaval in your, in your life. Um, and there could be shocking news. So maybe some, for some of you, this person might reach out suddenly. I don't know who might be open to that. Um, yeah, but again, there's been a lot of sudden change. Things have shifted. A new beginning has entered your life. Things have manifested for you. We have at the bottom of the deck, not today, not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundary, still angry. Wow. Okay, so for some of you, this person, and then look, you have clock, need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. So another card of cycles. So... Within time, you will heal. Things will heal. Um, but some of you might not even want to entertain this person if, if they call. Some of you, because some of you are still healing. And some of you might might have people that are interested in you, Taurus, but I feel like you're just more focused on healing and your inner transformation, the changes that's going on within your own life. I feel like eventually you will get out there again. But you're definitely going to be on guard. I feel like you're you're definitely like someone who studies people. I feel like this person could be studying you from afar. They could be trying to, you know, stalk you on social media. Or maybe through through friends. Eleven, eleven. Union is close. You are almost there. You make me want to be a better person. We have sacral chakra. Emotional blocks. How can you deepen the relationship to self? What relationships are draining you at this time? Denying deep desires. Make love to yourself. And then at the bottom of the deck, I can't wait to feel you beside me, on top of me, and all around me again. So this person, like just, they want to be next to you, like they want to hug you. Um, but there are still emotional blocks that one or the both of you are still healing from. But this person wants you to know that you make them want to be a better person. Um, yeah, and I'm feeling now for a lot of you, this person might want to communicate with you because we did have the unsaid at the bottom of the deck. So there are still things that are unsaid between the two of you that this person might want to say to you at some point in time. So 